they come to this side with Stefan Mahi. Lambert looking to put Mahi in again, and he goes down, penalty given! Yet more controversy. Yeah, he's just about to play the ball in for the cross, and he's caught, I think, unintentionally. Henrik Larsson. And he puts Celtic ahead with consummate ease, superbly slotted home. Yeah, it's a superb penalty kick. Right in at the, the left-hand post. Fence to put it into the other side and drills it low to Stevie Wood's right-hand side. Mother were really up against it now. And Coyle stepping out to have a quick word with him as they seem to know what's coming. And it went all the way through! What a stunning strike from Jed Brannan! He really has been in fine form since he moved to Scotland. And there's the proof. It's a magnificent set piece from Jed Brannan. What about that for a strike? Jonathan Gould, I think, will be unhappy. That's the side of the goal he should have been guarding. Plenty of swerve in the ball. Jonathan Gould, I think, slow to react. And it is his side of the goals here. He didn't see it until very late. It's going to be Luba Maracic! Oh, that is simply breathtaking from the oh-so-skillful Slovakian Luba Maracic. Yeah, a moment of absolute genius here. You won't beat that for technique. And Stevie Woods, as I suggested, wouldn't have seen that until it came over the wall. And by that time, there was no way he was going to get anywhere near it. There's pace on it, there's curl, it dips at the last moment. And that's a masterclass there from Lugo Moravcic. What a fabulous free kick. And arguably, that could only have come from him. In terms of technique, he really is head and shoulders above most of his fellow pros here in Scotland. Well, he was looking around at the available options and he then got caught in possession by a reset. Here goes Celtic with Prattback. Up to Larson. It's Larson with only two ahead of him. There was a crowd there, but Henrik Larson found his way through the crowd of defenders as he kind of thought he might. It's 3 1 and it's a double for Larson. It's a superb goal here, Bradbury. If Sean Steele steps up here, Larson's offside, he decides to stay in. And look at the footwork here, the determination. And he's decided already he doesn't want any help here, he's going on his own. And Stevie Woods didn't know much about it. Not all of players go side here. And he still can't prevent it. Wonderful goal from Larson. Larson has McNamara with him. But he slips it through to Burley! What a return to action for Craig Burley after four months out injured. What a welcome back. Well, that's where you expect to see him going ahead of the ball into the box. It's a nutmeg here from Larson to put Burley in. Superb pass. Nutmeg on Sean Teal. Help yourself, Craig. It's not a bad finish either for a man who's been out for four months. They've missed his goals badly, he chipped in with 15 last season. And on his first comeback match, he's made an early contribution already. And that'll be a reassuring sight for Joseph Venglos. Burley. Boyd. Larson. Moves away from Brannan. Larson. Touch it through to Reggie Blinker. Touched in by Virgil. And both the substitutes for Celtic have found the net. Burley and now Virgil. Well, Larson's the architect once again. The body strength to hold off the challenge. Another nutmeg to put Blinker in. And the square pass leaves Virgil with a tap in at the front post. Balakari's brushed aside here. He puts Blinker in the left. And the square ball leaves Burchill with a tap in at the front post. But once again, this is a significant contribution. And what a night Henrik Larsson has had here. Good ball in from Blinker. And Burchill wasn't going to miss from that range. Fifth of the season for Mark Burchill, who recently signed a four-and-a-half-year contract with Celtic. Any speculation about his future. 
Motherwell are getting completely overrun here. McKinney's cross, Larson for the hat trick, and he's finished it off in style. Three hat tricks in four matches. Absolutely awesome. Well, it's his night, isn't it? What a lesson this man's performance has been to front players tonight. Fabulous run to that near post. Tosh McKinley whips it in. He knows exactly where he wants Larson to be, and the Swede didn't let him down at that near post. Stevie Woods couldn't come for it. And that's a fabulous finish from Larson. Well, six for Rangers yesterday. Six for Celtic today. And maybe more, because here's Burley. Still there, Burley. And Larson, incredibly, has scored a fourth. And it's seven for Celtic. Astonishing. Well, it's a Henry Larson fairy tale now, isn't it? Burley does ever so well here on the right-hand side to make the space, gets to the byline, it comes off a defender here on the way over. And Larson once again in the right place at the right time. And there's plenty of power in this header. Takes a deflection. He gets plenty behind the header. Stevie Wood's wrong-footed. He's going across his goal to the back post. And it's Larson's night, isn't it?